my lovely friends. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumiere. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's pick a card reading is, is it love? So do they have romantic feelings for you? Do they love you? Okay, so we're gonna be taking a look at the energy surrounding your connection and see how deeply they feel about you, okay? Before we jump in, I just wanna shout out to Cassamba. Cassamba are an amazing platform for connecting with gifted psychics and they are offering Lumia subscribers an amazing deal if you're looking for a good deal on a personal reading, I highly recommend Cassamba, the really lovely platform. You can get your first three minutes for free, which is great. It's such a, a lovely way of seeing if you resonate with the person who you are calling. And then you get 70% off your first call. So new customers get 70% off their first call. So check out Cassamba, I highly recommend them. All the details of that deal is linked in the description box below this video. But let's take a look at the crystals. Group number one is the Vera Cruz Amethyst. Group number two is the Natural Citrine. And group number three is the Quartz Crystal Cluster. Take as much time as you need. As always, pause the video if you need more time, if you wanna meditate on the crystals. But when you are ready, your timestamps are in the description box below. And I will see you in a moment. Hey everyone, this is your reading for group number one and everyone who picked the beautiful look at this tiny little piece, the Veracruz Amethyst. It's such a special piece. This type of amethyst only comes from one place in the world, so it's pretty magical. Let's begin with some oracle cards, if I can grab them, see what it is that we get for you. This is a beautiful card that you get. It says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So beautiful. A lot of positivity here, a lot of fresh energy coming in. I'm really feeling that for you guys in group number one, this is like really welcome news. This is a new path which is opening up ahead of you uh, for this connection with this person who you're asking about today. Maybe this is a crush, someone that you've just met, something that's quite new, or someone that you are beginning a new chapter with. So it's just like all about leaving those past energies behind, not carrying it forward, you know, because then it becomes baggage. It weighs you down and uh, stops you from embracing kind of all the newness and the joy which is available to you. So it says, follow it with faith. So I'm hearing unfolding. So there is this unfolding process. Uh, maybe you're going through a process of kind of letting go of an old relationship or something like this. Um, something that was maybe a disappointment, but this person who you've got your eye on or that you kind of have got a crush on or that you're kind of hoping uh, is gonna develop into more, maybe someone you're dating, this is a new path forward for you. Spirit is clear about this. So um, I sense that your person is really seeing the possibilities here as well. So it's just like this energy of spread your wings and fly. So there's a lot of kind of expansive energy here. It's like a little heart with wings so it's just like your heart will soar is what i'm hearing from spirit as well so oh my goodness you guys and we get the card relationship as well so gorgeous this one literally leapt out of the deck beautiful dolphins on here as well so this person you share like a lot of psychic energies uh with this person like a soul connection as well definitely uh a connection which is going to develop into a relationship into union with this person this is going to be a very significant connection for you or that it's going to kind of really progress and move forward to something more serious this is definitely something that your person wants they see you as relationship material i feel like they dream about you a lot as well as what i'm sensing so the, yes, look, possibilities, three of wands coming out as the general theme of this reading for you. A lot of positivity here. It's a lovely energy to start my day with you guys in group number one. So yeah, thank you so much for that. So yeah, check it. There, your person really sees you as someone who they could kind of see a future together with, uh, you know, with you. They're kind of exploring those pos possibilities. Again, this energy of kind of expansion here. They kind of look into this as a new horizon. Maybe it's a fresh start for them as well, but they're just like, yes, there's a lot of possibility here. Uh, makes them feel very excited, very hopeful when they think about you, when they think about kind of pursuing this. So, yeah, I absolutely love this. Let's see. Yeah, this is so interesting. So you get High Priestess, 
Ten of Swords, King of Swords coming out for you. Pisces energy showing up here really strongly. Aquarius, Libra energy as well, straight off the bat. So it's just like, yeah, again, this energy that there's a lot of psychic energy being shared between you. I feel like your person may have some sort of, they could have ended another relationship. They could have a kind of secret past or something in their past that you don't know about, but they're absolutely done with this. And there's something about this experience that they had which has changed them into somebody new it's kind of drawn a kind of full stop for them and just being like I don't want to be this person it's an inner change that they've made which has allowed them to connect to their own truth you know to kind of level up into kind of the person that they are now or the person who you know now so it's like they've kind of been on a bit of a journey is what I'm sensing but whatever it is that they've been through in their past which may have brought them to their knees, which may have brought them to kind of struggle in in life, you know, to connect to those uh, deeper parts of themselves has really connected them to their truth. The, your person is very much like, they're very direct. It's kind of like, as a result of their past experiences, they know what it is that they want, right? So... It may also be the case that they kind of, they finished off another relationship and now that they're open to kind of be with you is what I'm sensing as well. So, but this may be something that is private to them is what I'm seeing. So it's maybe something that they've been through or something that they're not open about, although they, excuse me, they don't talk about with you, but it has brought them into right alignment and that alignment is with you and it's brought them closer to their own truth about what it is that they truly want and what they truly want is... A love and committed relationship and I see that here so it's like you've met them at the perfect time right I want to see what else is going on yeah I feel what I'm hearing from spirit is that there are a crossroads in their life they get you get three of pentacles four of cups and the two of wands so I sense that your person is really a crossroads in their life I feel like The change that they've made within them is that they they want someone who will meet them halfway, who will they want something that they can kind of build on with somebody. They want to build a life with somebody, right? This is what they're looking for. This is what's like in their primary vibration. They're looking to build something for the future. They want to do that as a team, okay? And I feel like whoever it is that they've been with or that they've been dating with them in the past hasn't given them that and now they're at this uh, crossroads in their life where they're kind of making this positive change to be with somebody that they can build a life with and this is what they want and this is what they see in you when they see you this is what they see that three of wands energy so they're holding back though aren't they this is why you're unsure about how they feel Queen of Cups, they see you as somebody who is like, oh, just like very uh, loving, very emotionally open, emotionally available, someone who's got a beautiful loving heart. They can feel the love from your heart chakra. You know, you just kind of pour out love and they really, really kind of honor that is what I want to say. But then you get Knight of Cups and Ace of Wands in the reverse. So it's just like, they know that there's love here. They know that kind of love is an option, that you're a loving person, they see you in this light as someone who they really respect, who's someone who's very emotional, they love that kind of gentle side of you, they love it that you are tender, right, that you have that tender part of you where you can kind of be vulnerable, where you can open up, where you can listen, right, they love all this about you and yet they haven't kind of made the move yet is what I'm seeing, I don't think it's because they don't want to, there are definitely loving feelings here, so whatever reason, I feel like your person may be a little bit burdened with their work is what I'm seeing as well. So this may be why they haven't made a move because they want to get this project finished or they want to kind of get a job if they're not employed right now or they want to be more settled. This feels like something that's quite a big deal to them with this two of wands energy, right? Or they want to be at a time where they have, they're not doing two jobs or where they're work or career or their studies isn't taking up so much of their bandwidth it feels like they've got a lot on their plate at the moment maybe it's responsibilities right and they're struggling to balance that between 
those responsibilities or what it is that they've got going on and being able to kind of offer or kind of just uh, invest in their romantic life and invest in this connection. So it's just like, yeah, they when they're with you, they love to spend time with you, right? They love being with you. They love your energy. They find your energy very, very nourishing, but they haven't offered anything to you. They see that you are like a really beautiful catch and a really beautiful person, right? But they haven't made this offer. So I feel like this has left you thinking, well, I can't tell if you like me or not, or I can't tell if you're into me or not, or if this is going to go anywhere. So let's take a look. Yeah, this is your energy, group number one. You get king of swords, knight of wands, and knight of swords. So this is just like... You're just in this energy of like, I know what it is that I want. I've identified this. I've identified you as someone that I want. I'm crystal clear about it. You may, you may have even spoken to them about it or you feel like you've made it very clear. This is the energy that I'm getting. You feel like you've made it very clear. Yes, I'm open to this. Yes, I want this. Or yes, I want another go at this. And you're just like, hurry up already with these two, night, these two nights showing up here. You're just like, hurry up already, come towards me, I'm ready, you know, I'm open to this, just hurry up already, that's the kind of energy that you're in right now, you're just like, I'm not going to wait around forever, I'm a busy girl or a busy guy, I've got stuff going on, right, then maybe this energy that you're giving me mixed messages as well, I just feel like you're just straight down the line, you're just like, yes, I know exactly what it is that I want, uh, but your person may be being a bit hot and cold, but I feel like this is to do with their responsibilities or their job. And I feel like they haven't made uh, themselves very clear about what it is that they want because they feel like they don't have the bandwidth for it right now or it hasn't been the right time. You know, maybe they've been uh, moving or they've had a lot on their plate or something like this. And so they feel a little bit torn in both in two directions or that they know that they, they don't have the, the time that's, to give you that you deserve. Like they wanna treat you well and they wanna kind of be able to do that, to kind of give you what you deserve, which is the best, right? Whoops. So you get King of Wands, you get Ace of Swords, and you get Knight of Swords. So this is so beautiful. Um, Leo's energy showing up here really strongly. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be an Aries, Sagittarius as well. So yeah, I see them being able to take action with this. I feel like they're connecting to their truth right, with this Ace of Swords, I feel like they're really, like, moving forward, they're having that eureka moment where they're being able to kind of, oh, just kind of cut themselves some slack a little bit, is what I'm hearing from Spirit, you know, with this Ace of Swords, just kind of cutting out what is no longer serving them, cutting off connections, which kind of maybe they've pursue, been pursuing, which are no longer serving them, and identifying that they want to take action and that they want to come towards you, right, this is what I'm seeing here. And I see them coming towards you full force uh, to kind of speak their truth. A lot of passion in this connection, really wanting you. So, yeah, I love it. I love it for you guys. So, yeah, there may have been like a timing issue here, but I see them being able to really kind of connect to that truth to be able to uh, speak to you about this, to kind of make this really happen and to kind of come towards you. I think there's this energy of just like, wow, if I don't act now, it's going to... This, the potential of this is going to slip through my fingers and they don't want that to happen, right? We have let go of control issues. So there may be somebody in this connection who is a little bit controlling, wants to control kind of how this happens, how it unfolds, all of this. It just says allow the situation to unfold naturally, right? We have a retreat as well. So you may feel like your person's been a little bit distant right now. That may have triggered you into some fear of just like, what's going on with this? But I just feel like they've got other stuff on their plate, other responsibilities. And when we have, I'd rather stay in my comfort zone, right? That could be an issue here with your person, why they've kind of been a little bit reticent, is they're just like, they know that you're the real deal, right? Is what I'm sensing here. They know that you're the real deal. 
and I see that with that four of cups of just like they're in their comfort zone it all kind of feels good you know when it comes to work and their friends and their life they kind of know where they're at but this connection with you is like new territory for them so that can uh, trigger them a little bit but like I was saying they've got like this is like directed action this is strong directed action coming towards you and we have I'm confused about what I want right now so I definitely with that four of cups see that as like an issue between you guys that they identify you as somebody who is very special very loving very open and yet um they feel like they're unable to pursue it or they can't fit everything into their life that they would like to so I think this is how they've been showing up for you. But like I was saying, there's a lot of directed focus here and so much potential in this connection, which will be realized, okay? Oh, we have the temptress. Seduction coming out for you. I've not drawn this card before. So regardless of your gender, this is a 15. So 15 or six may be a, a sign for you in this connection or significant but the temptress they regardless of your gender they are tempted uh, by you it's just like what i'm hearing from spirit is they cannot resist you right they can't resist you you're very very magnetic to them right very very magnetic and they really desire you right but they want to give you more right this is the thing they don't just want to be like they don't just want to hook up or a fling they want to be able to be in a position where they can give you more right so which has kind of left them feeling a little bit overwhelmed at times mm, so many things remind me of you so you're very much at the forefront of their mind they're thinking about you all the time every little thing songs and shows and there's people I yeah what I'm getting is that they see people and they're just like actors or actresses and they're just like wow or, or singers or whatever and they're just like wow that person looks so much like you this is what I'm sensing we have the timing isn't right so like that's definitely an energy that I'm getting that there's been like a timing issue here because your person has been dealing with other stuff in their life we have celebrate so definitely look a lot of positivity in this reading definitely something to celebrate between you both i see them being able to come towards you to take action with their truth to speak up about how they feel um and just to identify you and just be like yes you are what i want i'm going to come towards you this is going to give you a lot um to kind of feel good about you know spending quality time together something that you can really kind of feel a lot of joy and share a lot of joy together as well is what I'm seeing we have responsibility coming out so we did talk about that that your person is kind of dealing with a lot of responsibilities right now this is something that's an issue for them you know maybe they've got kids maybe it's really important that they get good grades if they're studying however this shows up for you in this general reading but it may be that I'm hearing one thing at a time. So it may be just like, yeah, I know you're there. I'm 100% into you. I find you 100% attractive, but I need to sort this stuff out. I need to kind of, um, you know, work on my goals. But it's not going to be forever, right? We have, I have a secret. See, we have that high priestess coming out as well. So earlier, hang on, let me see. I've got too many cards on the table now. Yeah, there's something here which is kind of that they feel like if you knew this about them, right, this is just something that's in their energy field, this truth about them, if you knew, what I'm hearing is if they feel like if you knew the truth, you wouldn't want to know them. And I don't know what this is, and I feel like this is going to be revealed to you in, in kind of divine timing or when the time is right. I don't, I don't think it is going to be a deal breaker for you at all. It's just something that they have where they just say, oh no, this makes me unlovable. There's just something about their past where perhaps they made a mistake or something like this. And they just think, if you, it may be the case that you already know about it, but it hasn't been spoken about between you, right? And they're just like, if you knew this, you wouldn't want to know me. 
okay? Could be anything, you know, that they're adopted or that they come from a poor family or that, you know, they did something when they were young that they really regret, right? So I feel like there's a reluctance to kind of get closer to you because then they'll have to be more vulnerable and they would have to kind of reveal this. Mm, we have, I don't have the words to express how I feel. We definitely see, have seen that in the reading, um, that they haven't kind of spoken up to you about how it is that they're feeling. How can I ever pay you back? So they feel like they owe you for some reason. Maybe you put a lot into them, you put a lot into this connection. I don't think I've ever drawn that card. I feel like your person isn't very good at kind of talking about how they feel. They may be playing it cool a little bit as well. Um, there's this energy of just like, I don't know what to say. And the reason that they don't know what to say is because they haven't connected um, to what it is that they're feeling in order to articulate it to you, right? But yeah, they feel like they owe you for some reason. Maybe it's because they put a lot of energy and attention your way and they weren't able to follow through on it at that time. Hmm, you are my dream come true. I'm shocked at your existence. So it's just like you tick all the boxes for them is what I'm hearing from spirit. So yeah, you are their dream come true. So yeah, there's so much that they find inspiring about you and attractive. You're kind of your um, dream guy or dream girl. You know, they're perfect person really so and they can't believe that they've come into alignment with someone who is uh you know so perfect for them that's everything that i have for you in this reading it's been a really lovely reading it's been a really lovely way to start my day thank you so much for spending your time with me today if you feel called to check out my beautiful books attract soulmate love and feminine frequency i've written those books from the heart um, they offer the feminine energy partner, right? Feminine energy is a big thing right now. The feminine energy partner is the one who likes to be pursued, um, the one who likes to receive when it comes to romance, okay? So if you want to find out more about feminine energy, you can read about that on my website, lumiertarot.com. Everything that I have to offer is there, and those books are linked in the description box as well. But have an amazing week and sending you lots of love, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two and this cute little natural citrine. Okay, let's take a look, find out what's going on with your person. Is it love? Are they in love with you? How deep are their feelings for you? Okay, so we'll be taking a look at all the energy surrounding this. Blessings. Oh my goodness, I got chills when this card came out. There's like a specialness to this connection. They see you as a kind of very special. This is their perception of you, that you are like a blessing in their life. It's like, like you're high vibrational and you bring kind of light to them. You kind of illuminate something uh, with your wisdom, right? There's something here where you're bringing some kind of light to them, some sort of understanding, something that they haven't seen in themselves, something that they haven't understood about themselves or about life, right? And you have illuminated this for them, right? Through your conversation, through the time that you've spent together, just through your energy, you know, perhaps you, there was just like a transfer of energy here, which has enlightened them in some way, right? And this has been a real blessing. There's something about you as well, where you have like some sort of compassion or a gentleness about you, right? Right? There's like grace here, okay? Maybe you're able to flow through life or that you kind of deal with life's challenges with a lot of poise or something like this. And this is something that your person, I've just got to grab my tea, cut my tea out of reach, um, that your person, what do I want to say? They admire in you and it is something that it's like they see you as very grounded, some, somebody who's very solid, right? in a way and they, it makes them feel in comparison that like they're just like wow I'm all over the place I don't know what it is that I want I'm not very stable right and they compare themselves to you and they can feel your energy of kind of your poise right there's something about you that's harmonious where you're kind of grounded or anchored in yourself you know what it is that you want and excuse me, when they experience your energy like that, it feels very good to them. They're just like this, it feels very nourishing, right? And they see you as a blessing in their life, okay? Someone who's come with like a message to kind of show them the way is what I'm hearing from spirit. 
here we go this is the card that you get we have reflection give each other some space trust and have faith that all will work out for the best everything is working out for your highest good please don't worry about that that's what i'm sensing here there's a blue butterfly on here so that may be a sign for you um, in this connection or over the next few days look out for that um, that may be in your energy frequency so this may be a time your connection may be on a break or on a hiatus your person may have gone a little bit quiet right i sense that your person has gone within that they need time to think about things right to consider things like what i'm hearing from spirit is you've given them a lot to think about right maybe just in meeting you or the time that you've spent together has given them a lot to think about or just you know something that's transpired between you recently right maybe things are getting more serious or going from friendship to something else maybe you've expressed your feelings or expressed your interest right they need some time to kind of think about that so let's see general theme of your reading is 10 of swords they feel a little bit beaten by something in in life maybe there's like an energy of rejection here maybe you've rejected them or they've rejected you at this time we'll explore this further and see what this is there's an ending to something coming up here someone's done with something but we will kind of see what's uh what's been going on Mm, you get seven of swords you get the knight of swords and you get strength leo's energy showing up here very strongly maybe aquarius energy as well here yeah, i feel like they've cheated you out of something um that's what it feels like it's like i don't know whether they undermined this connection a little bit right maybe they self-sabotaged a little bit i feel like there's this energy where they were too hasty it could have been that things moved a little bit too quickly right and like you didn't allow things to develop and now they've kind of you've fallen on rocky ground or kind of things have ended or something like this it could be that your person lied to you or cheated you in some way i feel like they're kind of cheating it may be that they've cheated on you but i'm just sensing for some of you this could be like a promise that they made to you which they didn't um come good on you know maybe they said if you wait for me i'll be there for you or i just need some time and then they didn't uh, come up with the goods I feel like they might come in and out of your life a little bit they're drawn to you though they're drawn to your authenticity is what I'm seeing here with this this strength card and there is love here as well I feel like there's a strong energy where they haven't being real with you. This is the main message that I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. I'm trying to kind of tune into the energy and see what it's all about, right? And it's just like this energy. Yeah, often it speaks of cheating and things like this. That may resonate with you. If it doesn't, it feels like, you know, maybe they've cheated themselves out of this or just like they haven't been showing up in a way that's kind of very true, right? But they want to move towards being more authentic is the message that I'm getting here where they can kind of be more real with you, where they can be more solid and kind of match some of that energy that you're showing up with. They see you as like a very strong and courageous person. Maybe you've overcome a lot of challenges in your life, right? But this is the change that I see within them, that maybe they've been a little bit like they didn't recognize the depth of this connection or they didn't recognize the potential of this connection. They may have run from it actually. For some of you, they may have kind of run away from this connection. But there is love here. They know that your heart is open to them. Okay. a little bit intense group number two i don't know what's going on with you guys um whether you've got some history together or whether you feel like things you're not on the same page or things have gone a little bit wrong you get five of cups you get high priestess five of wands pisces energy showing up here as well it feels like something here has been lost maybe you feel like the connection is broken down something like this your person feels like they feel a little bit sorry for themselves. I feel like they're keeping this under wraps, how they feel, right? There's this strong energy from your person of regret, regret about their actions, right? 
I definitely see that with this Seven of Swords, you know, whether they've kind of self-sabotaged this or whether there's been some sort of cheating. If that's the case, you already know about it, okay? Um, but there's this strong energy of regret and shame is what I want to say as well. So this is quite a specific message. If it's not your message, don't try and force it. Um, you know, pick one of the other groups or one of the other readings, you know, whatever. Use your intuition to let it kind of guide you. I think you know, actually, talking of intuition, how it is that they're really feeling. I feel like they're showing up for you one way, right? However it is that they're showing up, maybe they're playing it cool, something like this, but I just, you can just kind of sense what's going on with them. This is what I'm getting. I feel like you have like a strong psychic connection. I feel like they're fighting their inner demons as well with this five of wands. You may be fighting with one another, right? There could be some resistance and push pull between you, right? Energetically, definitely with these two fives as well, either side of this. So five, five or five, 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 maybe. Um, a significant to you or a sign for you regarding this connection as well but I just sense that you, that you, that you don't realize like how difficult this is for them that they're keeping this really under wraps with this high priestess that there is this kind of inner tug of war that they have regarding their own emotions I feel like they often feel overwhelmed with their own emotions as well I feel like your person often connects to like quite a dark place I sense that if they have stepped out of their integrity in any way, they feel a lot of shame around that, they really regret it. If they have self-sabotaged this, again, it's something that they really regret. They feel like they've been hasty, they wish that they'd been more authentic with you, more real with you, right? Is what I'm sensing. check in with your energy group number two just to see kind of how you're showing up you get three of cups queen of pentacles judgment here um in this reading capricorn's energy taurus energy showing up for you so you get a lot of joy out of this relationship you know you may have met through friends something like this you kind of know your own value you know your worth well you've woken up to that recently is what i'm sensing i feel like you can see a long-term long -term potential with this person, right? This is what you're seeing here. I feel like something has really come to light or you've understood something about yourself or this connection that you didn't see before, right? I feel like group number two, you really do understand your value though, right? There's this energy of that you're a catch, you could have anybody. And that you want love to feel fun. Again, there's this energy though with the Three of Cups that there may have been like a third party, but you just know that that isn't something that you kind of want to get involved in, that you're no one's second best, right? That you won't, if that's how they're showing up for you, this isn't what it is that you want. And that that's not okay with you because you know your own worth and you know what it is that you bring to the table. Look at this. Your person, five of pentacles, three of swords, five of wands, two fives again. This five, there is a lot of change. It feels like this connection is in, remember we're just looking at a snapshot of the energies. It feels like it's on like a knife edge in some way, or you're just at some sort of kind of pivot moment where kind of things are changing. I feel like there's a lot of energies that are really up in the air right now. Um, and this is why you're seeking clarity, you know, about how they feel. I really feel like you and this person have definitely got a history together, that this isn't a new connection, right? You know, there's been a friendship here or even a relationship or a situationship between you and your person. It feels like it's quite complicated. I feel like your person is feeling quite complicated emotionally within themselves. Again, there's this inner resistance. I've just feel like um, by that they may have hurt you and in doing so like they've hurt you but they've also hurt themselves with this three of swords they're experiencing a lot of loss a lot of intense emotions a lot of sorrow about what has transpired between you this is quite an intense reading you guys remember if it's not your reading tune into one of the other groups all of the stories today that are coming through the messages have been really different um, 
So I feel like your person is feeling very isolated. Again, there's this energy here of self-sabotage that I'm picking up on from your person. This could be a pattern within them. It could be a pattern of unworthiness that they have that maybe they feel like they are unlovable and this is why they're pushing you away, right? This is the energy that I'm getting, okay? They feel like they've let themselves down in some way is what I'm sensing. I feel like you've kind of really retained your poise though. It's like you understand them or you understand them better than they understand themselves is the kind of energy that I'm getting. So you get Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Devil, Capricorn's energy showing up here very strongly. They want to be included right? They want to be in your inner circle. They want to be able to come close to you. They do want a committed, loving relationship with you. This is the 11-11 card, this four of wands. They want to be able to kind of meet your needs and to meet you where you're at so that you have this 50-50 relationship. But it's like there's this energy of just like, they feel like they can just give you crumbs and that those crumbs will be enough to build a relationship. All those crumbs will just be enough to sustain you. They're just like, here you go. Here are the crumbs. You know, uh, this is all I've got in terms of energy or time or uh, what I'm prepared to give you, right? This is what I'm seeing here. And they think, right, from their kind of perception, from their worldview, through the lens through which they see things, that this is enough to create a sustained loving connection or to or to create something solid and the fact is it just isn't they are bound up to you though they're bound up to your energy right they're learning a lot of spiritual lessons from you right and they feel so drawn towards you right they're just like it's like what i'm hearing from spirit is they need you more than you need them i'm sorry if this sounds a bit harsh um it wasn't my intention to do a harsh truth reading, um, but I feel like we're looking at some shadow aspects of your person that are coming out. I really feel like sometimes this is my my role here on YouTube to kind of only ever to bring clarity and understanding. So it's like they want to meet your needs, and I feel like they're really doing the best that they can with the information that they have, right? And they want to be in your inner sanctuary. They want to get close to you. They want to have a relationship with you. They do feel really drawn to you. But they've got some sort of pattern here. Um, which I feel is unhealthy or unhelpful. Right? Oh, with the Six of Pentacles, there could be codependency here as well. That they've learned from their home life. So maybe someone in this connection is codependent. I'm seeing that. Just Or could have codependent traits for kind of getting their needs met. That's just a message for some of you, not for all of you. Yeah, this is so nice. There's a lot going on energetically, which isn't happening in the 3D is what I wanna say. You've got the Emperor, the Star, the High Priestess. So Aries, Aquarius and Pisces showing up really powerfully. Three major arcana for your future energies. I love this. They're healing this aspect of themselves, which is the kind of shadow masculine, right? If this is your masculine, masculine energy partner, or even if it isn't, there are shadow masculine energies at play here, which are being healed. And there is hope for the future, right? These are the future energies. There is a lot of healing taking place, a lot of assimilation that's going on with your person while they connect to those feelings of just like, um, there's something about this where they're just like, if I keep showing up like this, you know, I'm only hurting myself and I'm hurting those around me and I don't want to be this person anymore. So there is this recognition where they're just like, I don't, I don't want to be this person. They want to become more empowered and they're learning how to do that. And spirit is really helping them to do that, to get into that place. But it's something that's really happening energetically, right? Um, that isn't kind of manifest in the 3D right now. That's what I'm seeing. But Spirit is really saying, look, there is there is beautiful love here. It really mirrors, the star energy really mirrors that blessings that we had coming in at the beginning. You know, where they recognize your goodness, your compassion that you've had for them. It's just like, it doesn't matter how far they go or what it is that they do, you're always there kind of loving them and extending compassion to them. And this understanding that you have that 
whereby you kind of see them clearly and you understand them better than they understand themselves or that they understand this situation. But I see them being able to heal these old wounds, these old patterns in order to become more empowered. I feel like spirit is helping them to do this. And there is this gateway energy here with this high priestess. This is the gateway of kind of moving forward, taking those energies from the spiritual realm into the, um, you know, from the 5D and into the 3D, you know, transforming them. Your person is really hoping for your compassion. Mm, we have third parties that are interfering. So there may have been like, a third party energy here showing up for you. If that's the case, again, it's something you already know about. Maybe they were just kind of sharing their energy in a way that kind of didn't really resonate with you, right? Or they were open to other people's energies in a way that doesn't feel good to you. And I think you've been quite clear about that. I feel like you're quite clear about what it is that you want. Like you want to be chosen. You want to be the one, right? I think you're showing up in that way, which is very powerful. You're my sun, my moon, and my stars. Yeah, mirroring that energy of that, that blessings, that they see you as kind of very special. They see you as like the person that they hope to be themselves. You know, they wish that they could be like you as loving, as pure, like there's an energy of purity here, of openness. We have the card obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. I think we're seeing, if you're resonating with this message and you're still with me, then, um, you know, I think you're getting like some really powerful insights, which are really going to give you a lot of clarity here. So that kind of block that you're feeling, I've just like, I see that there's attraction here. Um, it's like you can see their wounding as well. Like you can see it, you can see what the issue is, right? But... It's kind of blocking progress forward. It feels like something that's like really, really stuck. They honor you so much though. They have this very, from their higher self, they have this very pure love for you, right? They see you as this kind of pure energy or this pure light in their life. And it kind of illuminates their shadow self is what I want to say. Yeah, and then we get the card healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. I'm getting chills, you guys. Look at this. Old wounds and childhood issues. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward motion. And then healing of old wounds coming up for you. So it's a very, very strong message coming out here for you. So I feel like your person isn't a bad person. I feel like maybe they've got some unhealthy patterns. I feel like they've got some kind of triggers that they have around kind of uh, maybe rejection or abandonment, something like this, that perhaps you can't relate to or that you don't understand because I feel like you're in quite a healthy place in your life emotionally, right? And you just want things to feel good and you want love to feel good and to feel nourishing. I feel like maybe this is something that you can relate to because it's something that you've already been through and that you've healed yourself. So, oh look, and on the bottom of the deck you get soulmate. So soulmate energy is here that your person recognizes you as a soulmate, somebody who is very special. And I do see them being able to heal this and overcome this. It's not so you can't do the work for them. You can create space for them to be able to kind of do this um, while continuing to work on your own goals and dreams and just be like, I'm here when you're ready. I'm, I'm open to this, whatever you need, you know, to extend that compassion to them, which I know you have so much of, right? Um, but your person is really on a healing journey and that may have been creating some uh, stagnation or some blocks to kind of moving forward. So if you've been wondering why you've not kind of been connecting or why this hasn't been working, this is why, but there is love here. They see you as very pure. They see the love that you offer them as very pure. They often feel unworthy of that love, but there is soulmate energy and they recognize that as well, okay. That's everything that I have for you in this reading. I do hope it's been beneficial for you in some way that it's given you clarity if you're still with me at this stage. If you wanna find out more about this connection at the spiritual level, I really recommend my friend Misha. She reads the Akashic Records. 
It's like an energetic library of your own soul throughout all lifetimes. So she can tell you if you've met in a, um, a past life, um, whether you're destined to be together, whether your person can heal, what you can do to get into alignment with one another, the energy surrounding your connection from a very deep place. So it's a really life-changing experience. I highly recommend working with Misha if you are genuinely looking for answers. So check that out. Misha is offering $7.77 off her Akashic Record readings for Lumia subscribers. You can find her details in the description box. If you scroll right down, you'll find her details there. But have an amazing week. I'm sending you lots of love and blessings in your situation. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three in this beautiful little quartz crystal cluster. It's so lovely. Right, let's take a look at the energy surrounding this connection. See if your person has romantic feelings for you, what it is that they are thinking and feeling around this connection. Physical body is coming up here. So definitely a strong physical attraction here they find you very attractive very handsome very beautiful uh whatever it is but yeah they really desire you so there's definitely that energy showing up here for you as well and we have the card sacred union two people who are very close so i feel like you share like a lot of um Beautiful kind of electric magnetic energy between you both, which is so nice. It says honor and treasure your relationship. It is sacred. Okay, so you could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame here. I definitely see you coming into union with this person if you're not already. This is definitely a very sacred connection. Very spiritual. This has got a very spiritual component to this connection. So if you are feeling it very deeply, group number three, this is why. So... They want to be closer to you. They want to be closer to you physically. They want to be closer to you kind of spiritually, right? They really want to kind of get to know you um, and see your soul is what I'm hearing from spirit. So there is that there. I feel like it's a, what I'm hearing as well definitely is that it's a past life connection that you have with this person. It feels like you're sort of destined to kind of be in each other's lives with this kind of energy, this being a kind of... Uh, this sacred energy that this is something very special that you share like not it feels like it's outside of the everyday experience right like it's kind of otherworldly ten of wands is your general theme coming out so there's something here which is burdening your person kind of weighing down maybe your person maybe their heart maybe this connection let's take a look uh, we'll explore it further for you see what's going on Interesting. You get the moon in reverse, Pisces energy showing up here, five of swords, and then the four of cups. Four of cups showing up a lot today. What I heard when I pulled this moon in the reverse is spill the beans. So there's something here which I feel has come out into the open or has come to light, which has caused some sort of situation between you both. So maybe you've had some crossed words or there's like a little bit of uh, energy here which isn't very harmonious. You know, maybe you feel like a little bit confused about what's going on with your person or how they feel right now. As a result of this, maybe you found something out about them which you didn't like or they revealed something or a side of themselves that you're just like, I didn't know this about you or um, this is going to make it difficult, right? Is what I'm seeing here. It's some sort of fear that's been realized as well. There may be like a fear of rejection here with this Four of Cups that your person has, your person is kind of really laboring under this kind of energy of a fear of rejection is what I'm sensing for some of you as well. That's a message that I'm getting that um, if you rejected them, they wouldn't really be able to handle it is what I'm sensing from your person. So that's something that they have in their energy field that weighs them down a little bit. Um, let's explore this further. Okay, so you get King of Cups in the reverse, Death and Seven of Pentacles. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio represented here really strongly, showing up in your reading. I feel like they haven't expressed how they felt towards you. I feel like your person has quite a lot of fear when it comes to love and relationships. 
in themselves. They may act very confident, but inside they feel a little bit like a jelly. Um, so <laughs> that's what I'm sensing here. But I feel like they haven't kind of expressed any feelings for you and you're very much in the dark about things, um, which is making things feel a little bit like a struggle. You may feel like this is over or should I give up on this connection? That's the kind of energy surrounding this right now. But they're kind of given, they've invested in you. This is the thing here with this seven of, pen, uh, yeah, seven of pentacles. It's like... Yeah, they've invested in you. You know, they've spent time with you. You know, you've spent time together. They've invested energy into you, time together, all of this. Maybe they've kind of given you hints about the future, talking about the future like this. And now you're just like, but, you know, we've come so far with this, you know, whatever it is, whether it's been a connection or getting to know each other or dating or whatever it is. Um, I feel like you're in this energy of just like, oh, but... Now, I don't know because you haven't spoken about it. It hasn't kind of, they haven't said, maybe it's just that they haven't said the words, right? I feel like there's some sort of, I feel like you're two people who are not on the same page right now. I feel like you have a fear that perhaps this is over or that they, or that they don't love you, right? You're just like, you. it's like you're sort of being Sherlock Holmes and so you're kind of looking at their actions and what it is that's going on with them. And you're just like, well, on the one hand, they're doing this and it looks like they're quite into me. But on the other hand, they haven't said anything or they haven't asked me out or they haven't said the words. So now I'm not sure. Right. That's too many. Let's take a look. I feel like your person really had their heart broken in the past as well. <clears throat> and got rejected. And that this, this is the baggage that they carry with them. Makes them reluctant to open their heart. But if you if that's the case, it's just like, well, I feel like you're just like, well, this is making it very difficult for us to connect, right? Even though there's attraction here, right? There's such strong attraction and like a magnetic draw towards one another, but it's making it hard for you to connect, which is why I feel like you're a little bit confused about what's going on. So you get four of pentacles, six of wands, and the eight of swords. So yeah, they've got this energy of just like protecting their heart space, really holding on tight to their beliefs and stuff. But I see that they're going to be kind of uh, successful in overcoming these fears that they have, because these are just limiting beliefs. So maybe they've been a little bit reticent. Maybe they've kind of been holding back a little bit. I sense that they've kind of led you on a little bit for some of you, right? because they were attracted to you and they want to know you and they want to experience you, but they haven't been able to kind of fully connect to you or fully give themselves to you. Um, and this is why, but I see them being successful in being able to overcome those fears that they have because they're just limiting beliefs uh, and they're holding themselves back and they can free themselves from that. Okay, they've created a prison in their own mind. They want to come towards you, but I sense that they want it on their own terms a little bit as well. That may resonate with you, right? They want it on their own terms a little bit. Like there may be an energy where they're a little bit controlling and you're just like, this isn't really flowing how I'd like it to be. But that can, when someone shows up like that and they're a little bit controlling, um, maybe not controlling of you, but con kind of controlling of the situation or of circumstances or just like, I just like things how I like them. They've got this kind of um, very kind of rigid sort of comfort zone. They're just like, this is my comfort zone, right? This is where I like to be. Anything outside that I get triggered, right? So they're trying to stay within this kind of safety zone is what I'm seeing. And this is where they feel confident. This is where they can feel confident to come towards you and to flirt with you and to uh, show their feelings for you, right? That's where they feel confident. And as long as they're inside that, then they're okay. Outside of that, they get triggered. They feel too vulnerable, they feel too open, right? Yeah, you get the chariot, three of pentacles in the reverse and page of cups. So this, their feelings for you have really taken them by surprise. 
I just feel like they've got this energy of like no one affects me. I you know I don't get that close to anybody. You know keeping people at arm's length, and yet there is like a power to this, right? Which has kind of made them come undone, is what I'm seeing here. Like emotionally, they just feel a little bit like they've come undone, and it makes them think, wow. I don't really know kind of what the plan is or where to go from here, but I definitely see them being able to pursue you, right? There is this kind of tug of war that they're having between their head and their heart, right? And their head's just like, oh no, this isn't safe, I'm getting triggered, but their heart wants what the heart wants and the heart wants you, right? I see a lot of flirtation here. They may be younger than you. There is a bit of immaturity here with your person. I feel like they're not as kind of emotionally mature as you are, that they've got a lot of catching up to do with this three of pentacles in the reverse. Like I sense that you really kind of lead the way there, that you've got like uh, a lot more kind of emotional vocabulary to kind of connect with and talk about feelings. And I feel like they don't come from a kind of family where they do that. So there are loving feelings here, right? I feel like they may have wrestled with them a little bit. They're just like, I kind of like, they, they may not have been sure and they've kind of wrestled with that. But I just see like you being really successful. This being able to kind of move forward, to move in the right direction. I think it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to develop slowly, but there is I, what I'm sensing, right, truth be told, is that they had, like, a lot of lust for you, a lot of desire for you, right, that kind of sexual attraction, but now they've caught feelings, right, and this is what's driving this forward, and this is what's driving them towards you, okay, and they do feel like they've come undone a little bit, they do feel like this makes them feel a little bit vulnerable, right, I feel like they love to kind of chat with you and connect with you and flirt with you and all of that, and that that can develop into something more, I feel like there's nothing stopping this now with this chariot energy, right? There's nothing stopping this from kind of moving forward and developing, right? But Spirit is really saying, you know, don't run before you can walk. Just take it slowly. Let them catch up because I just feel like you have got stronger feelings than they have got. So yes, they have got feelings for you, but they're just in the early stages. So they're kind of, it's quite kind of delicate in a way. So it's just like, let them catch up with this chariot energy to where you're at. Okay. Just let in their own time is what I'm hearing from spirit. Let them catch up with you and they will do, and they will be able to meet you where you're at. Okay. So and then you'll be able to kind of develop this and be successful. But it is worth knowing that they're not as good as expressing their emotions as, as you are, right? Let's see. Let's take a look at some Oracle cards, see what messages we have. It's you. It's always been you. So there's a strong message here that they are choosing you. They're choosing you above all others, that they recognize you at the soul level, right? I feel like this is why it's kind of taken them by surprise. It's like with this chariot energy, there's like a force behind it. There's a force that's bringing you together and there's like a force of kind of directed focus and just like the strength of that emotion is what's taken them by surprise. They're surprised at like how strongly they feel for you, right? Mm, I'm exhausted from this. We got this with this Ten of Wands. I wonder if you guys have a little bit of history together, right? I'm so exhausted from this. It could be that they're just exhausted from kind of fighting themselves, right? With this Five of Swords that we had showing up, fighting themselves, this kind of inner battle that they have within themselves of kind of fighting what it is that they want. They're just like, I want you. I want to have this. I want to have this experience, but I'm afraid of getting hurt or getting rejected and so they have this kind of inner struggle but I just feel like oh look we have the card metamorphosis that one just leapt out of the deck just then so a lot of transformation going on with your person your person is really transforming into something brand new this connection is really transforming into something brand new a lot of positive energy coming in for you But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you had a history with this person and like, it's getting a little bit like, 
like sometimes it feels like it's a struggle because you've got this history but it is changing we have balancing the scales kind of Libra energy showing up here as well I feel like things are gonna what I'm hearing from spirit is more harmonious right things are going to be more harmonious between you like coming into something which is much more balanced where what I'm hearing as well is more 50 50 right if you feel like you've been putting in a lot of effort or like I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for this person waiting for them to say I love you waiting for them to kind of know what it is that they want things are really balancing out for you and they're going to be more 50-50, so they're going to be able to kind of meet you where you're at. You are the song of my heart. Very beautiful. So maybe the songs really speak to them about this connection. Sorry, I'm being drawn to this deck first. Um, you may have special songs that you share together with this person. Or that there are songs that really, um, when they hear them, they think of you, right? True love. You guys, you wanted to know if they loved you, and they do. I feel like what I'm hearing from Spirit is they're just like, they're like, they do love you, but they may not act like it, or they may not say so, right? But their heart wants you, and they do love you. And this is what's coming out here. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. It's making me want to cry. So yeah, I definitely sense that there was like a strong initial kind of powerful magnetic sexual attraction, but feelings have developed and they are really shocked at how, how deep they feel for you, okay? That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards. I've loved it so very much. It's been a super interesting reading. Do let me know how it resonates down in the comments. Um, if you feel called to, you want to find out more about this connection, do check out that deal with Kasamba. Uh, the first three minutes are absolutely free and then you get 70% off your first call with them, which is like a really amazing deal. Uh, it's a really good way of getting like an in-depth personal reading for a fraction of the price. If you want to find out more, it's linked in the description box. But I'm sending you lots of love and blessings. I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care. Bye-bye.